Hey guys, I'm doing a quick video on how to use uh, the spot adjustments, the graduated filter, the red eye, the crop. So basically this panel right here. Um, this panel could very easily change your life. So here we go. Um, here's a very embarrassing picture of me trying to be all cute for a vacation. Um, and I applied my signature preset and all I did was up the exposure. And this is the picture we get. Um, oh, I also uh, tinted, let me just do it just so you can see completely from the beginning. So here's the raw image. I'm going to click my signature preset. Okay, so when I use my signature preset, the first thing that I do is up the exposure and then I notice it's a tiny bit pink and then I'm gonna warm it up just a tad. Okay so um, here's an image that I would literally be done with. I would export it and move on with my life but I'm gonna show you with using this image how I would use this little panel here. So here is our crop tool crop overlay boom so it gives you this nice little grid here if i wanted to crop in all i would do is move my little arrow keys and i'd crop in that really bothers me and then you can also move it around up and down boom 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 and then when I'm done, I'm like, okay, I look here and I'm like, oh yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to just click that little crop box again and boom, we're done. Cool. So that's how you do your crop tool. Okay. So this is spot removal. This one's really cool because what it will do um, you have two options. You can clone or heal. I use heal 90% of the time. And let me show you what this does. Okay. So do you see this little roof here? I It it bugs me. Like it literally, I can't look at anything else besides that. So let's just pretend this is the crop that I want. But I want to get rid of that. So what I would do is I would move my size of the little circle as small as I can. And then I would come over here and I would do this. And then it makes whatever. So this, you see this circle? It's like, hey, whatever's in this circle, I'm going to make it there. Okay. So let's say I'm like, no, I want it to be more like this. Then that looks better to me. So the roof is gone. Okay. So the, that's the heel tool, heel tool. I do this a lot with like uh, acne and stuff. So let me go back. I'm going to delete it. I literally just said the delete key. Delete key. So let's pretend I want to use the clone tool. So watch this. Okay, so I'll click the roof. Okay, whatever's here is going to be the exact clone of in here, which actually looks a lot better. Yeah, it looks a lot cleaner. You don't see any roof after that. But watch this. What if I'm like, I want my face to be there. <laughs> Not funny. You could totally do that. Oh, that's what the clone tool does. Okay, so that's not what we want. So I'm going to click it again, and I'm going to move. I want more this look to be here. Actually, just kidding. I want more like that. That matches probably better. And there we go. So... Um, that's how you do your spot removal tool. It's very, it comes in handy a lot, especially like whenever you're trying to, um, it's basically the Photoshop, the only Photoshop that I use, um, is this little tool. 
Okay, so this, I'm, I've probably used only like once in my entire life. It's the red eye tool and, you know, like you just click the eye. It's supposed to get rid of it. Um, I just don't get a lot of red eye with digital cameras. That's just not something that um, I have to deal with, but it is there if you need it. Okay, this tool is the graduated filter. So this was, um, this would be great for the a beach scene where you want to up the exposure on your client, but you don't want to up the exposure so that you lose the sky. So what this tool does is that, okay, it, it takes, so I literally just dragged it from here to here and I'm going to show you like, whoa, you see that? So it gradually from your start to this uh, black, okay, so you see the red? So from the start of where you started from the corner, so I'm going to do that again so you can actually see it. So I'm starting in this corner. Let's just pretend that this was like a black hole and I wanted to lighten it up. So I clicked the graduated filter tool and then the effect that I wanted was exposure. So I would take my little uh, arrow key and I would, let me try that again so you can see in real time. Okay, so graduated filter, the effect I wanted was exposure. I'm going to show you the exposure all the way up so that you can see what it does in real time. And I can move it all the way around. Okay, so in that beach picture that you had, you wanted, let me erase this, you wanted the sky to not be affected by exposure. So what you could do is you can click graduated filter, click exposure, and then start from the bottom. And so like the sand and your clients wouldn't be that white, but maybe just a little bit lighter. But the sky would stay the same. So this is not being affected, just what's in your graduated filter. Um, so uh, this tool is re really comes in handy whenever... You just want part of the picture one way. Um, so, yeah. I think um, I use this one. Uh, I honestly rarely use this one. <laughs> but um, it does come in handy when you need it. Okay. So, the radial filter. This one is really cool because um, you can... So I do this a lot on like bouquets or a person that is um, not in an ideal bright location. Um, let me show you what I do. Okay, so here's what the um, radial filter does. It makes a circle. So this is very extreme. Okay, so in this circle, the picture remains the same. Outside of the circle is what the effect you're doing. So in this case, I have it exposure all the way up. So if I wanted the opposite, I wanted that. I'm, I'm showing you extreme scenarios right now, by the way. Um, but yeah. So, actually, I have this in, yeah. Let's pretend you wanted to invert it. So, you wanted to affect whatever was inside the circle. So, right now, the outside is staying the same. And whatever is inside the circle, I can adjust it. Okay? And you can make the circle smaller. So let's just pretend, I don't know why, but I want my face <laughs> to look a certain way rather than the rest of the picture. Let's just pretend I want the whole picture to be super bright except my face. Okay, so I would put my face in the circle and then up the exposure like that. I don't know why you would do that, but 
I usually use this in case like there's like white flowers and um, they're starting to lose their color. Um, I'll put this protection bubble over the flowers. Let's pretend I'm holding flowers. And then that way the flowers stay the same and then I can like increase the exposure everywhere else without losing detail in the flower bouquet. So um, that is what the radio filter does and it's really cool. Okay, so this is, this tool right here is the brush and it literally is exactly what you think it is. So you can brush, let's say I wanna ex like brush exposure on my face. I would take and do this. Makes no sense, but I'm just giving you an example. Um, I rarely use this one because it's very time consuming. Um, but it's there if you need it, and it's super cool. Um, if you wanted to brush like the whole background, I mean, this is, I'm just showing you extreme, but you know, you can brighten in a background by brushing it in, or you could use the radio filter. But yeah, that's how you use this panel, and it comes in super handy. It's kind of like Photoshop for Lightroom right here. It's the only, like, quote-unquote Photoshop that I use if I need it. So I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, just ask me in the group.